The VolQuest Two Minute Drill is brought to you by Craven Wings. Craven Wings Two Minute Drill. Tennessee defeats Vanderbilt, fifty-six to nothing. Who saw that coming, Gary King? <laughs> yeah, I mean, as the week went on, and I wrote this in the, uh, the the picks on Friday, I just felt more and more confident with Tennessee. I understand the backup quarterback and all that, but. I just, I know what South Carolina was, but what we've seen from the leadership of this team, I thought they would respond the right way. I did not think you would pitch a shutout or win by 56 points. Well, that's what I meant. Yeah. I mean, uh, you that's how you 63 won. last yeah. week, zero tonight. And Tennessee found ways to get off the field. They turned Vanderbilt over on downs four times yeah. in the football game. Uh, just a really impressive outing from uh, Tim Banks' group. And then, you know, offensively, Joe Milton did just enough and, you know, the running game was superior in the second half. Yeah, well, Joe Milton wasn't perfect. Neither are the conditions, uh, but that's why you like a big run game. I mean, explosive runs of 50, of 83, of 52. Jalen Wright had two of those. Jabari Smiley, yeah. Dylan Sampson rattled off one of 80 plus yards yeah. as well. Defensively, it's a little frustrating because you got that effort tonight. Where was that effort last week? I understand Rattler's much better than Mike Wright, and there's some different circumstances there, but. I mean, they played well. They played hard. Um, they felt like they had something to prove, and they came out there and finished off this regular season the correct way. And now you're at 10 wins in the regular season. Milton started strong. He was like six in his first nine, over 100 yards. Yeah. And then all of a sudden it was like every throw was going to be 70 yards. Every throw was going to be 70 yards. Every throw was going to be 70 yards. I think Tennessee, and maybe that's just them taking some shots because they were up, but yeah. I think going to do a bowl game, whether they're playing Clemson in the Orange or they're in Dallas or wherever they're at. I think they've got to find a way to use him in a way that's most effective. And I don't mean just throwing deep balls. He's really good at crossing patterns. They yeah. don't throw a lot of crossing patterns in the offense, but maybe that's something you see in a bowl game because I think that's one of the strongest throws he makes. I do agree with you uh, 100% that in the second half, it did feel like so many deep shot after deep shot after deep shot. I mean, if it's a 21-21 ball game, I don't know if we see it that way. Plus, that's when you're getting a lot on the ground. So. Uh, yeah, I, I thought some of the outs that he threw tonight, some of the hitches, he was good. And he looked good throwing the deep ball early on. And then, of course, he just kind of had a little bit too much juice on it uh, after that first one of Jalen Hyatt. So uh, the biggest thing for him, though, no turnovers. Uh, he protected the football in these split conditions, and he had a run game that was his best friend tonight. And moving forward in a bowl game, you want to have that run game as well. Best news for Tennessee on this night besides the 56 nothing win? LSU goes down to Texas A&M. They're going to plummet in the polls after losing to that four-win Texas oh, yeah. A&M team that had been left for dead. And then USC beats Notre Dame. And I know everybody's thinking, well, why is that a big deal? Because Notre Dame is still a national brand. They had kind of gotten some late-season season momentum. For them to lose that game, I think, was big for Tennessee as far as trying to get to the Orange Bowl, yeah. which is a much better opponent. Let's say Clemson over the Cotton Bowl, which you're playing UCF or Tulane. And I think all Tennessee fans would much rather be in warm Miami playing a competent power five oh, yeah. opponent versus a group of five team. And also, I mean, for sure, any anybody over that, um, like in the Cotton Bowl, but, I mean, if it was Tennessee and Clemson, after the way Debo Sweeney had some comments about Tennessee last week, you best believe Tennessee and Tennessee's fan base would love to get a crack at Clemson. So, uh, we'll see. Uh, things kind of fell for Tennessee. Tennessee helped itself out by having a dominant showing here tonight. And uh, we'll see what happens, of course, with the polls coming out and then championship Saturday next weekend. He's Eric Kane. I'm Austin Price. Craven Wings, two minute drill. Tennessee defeats Vanderbilt 56 to nothing. When you're Craven Wings, it's got to be Craven Wings. Online at cravenwings.com.